Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a storage option or travel option for your tools and knives. So today I will be talking about the Beavercraft TR4 4 pocket tool roll. This is the product number. And for some reason the seller had no additional information about this product on the site. So I cannot give you any further information, only one information I can give you and that this product is made in Ukraine. Made out of uh, some kind of, I don't know if it is uh, synthetic or kind of uh, I really don't know. I really don't know. I cannot tell you the material. Maybe some kind of fabric or or some kind of nylon. Definitely really sturdy. So it has some you need some force to to bend it. So there are no hidden pockets nowhere. So you have your four storage compartment of four pockets it looks like a double stitching or it could be uh, I could be uh, probably maybe it is it is always good to to check if you are buying something if it has a double stitch because it could uh, thread on you and then you can uh, could uh, go apart of course but let's see about this roll so I have a few knives on the table that I use to, uh, to compare sizes so let's see a this is a buck uh, vintage pro so you can definitely fit it without problems Uh, Benchmade 940 Osborne access. Strider SNG with a lanyard and a bead. <laughs> let's see something large. So let's see a large Griptilian. Too many Benchmades lying around so definitely you can put also a full-size uh, knife or okay let's see also a Strider SMF and this is a little bit above the line Probably for any security, just uh, clip it in. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can close this one. And definitely the the SMG has some interesting. Interesting and also the this is really intriguing how they probably the, they want you to to roll it this way. Uh, oh no no no! This way. So let's see. Oh, this is a after all a roll. Something like this. Something like this. Definitely the, the SMF makes it a little bit awkward. This is not a beautiful roll. So let's take out the 
take out the SMF. And let's put in a skyline. Oh, nothing is sticking out. No more. But then there is not enough space between them to, to, to close it anyway. So let's see. No, 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 no. Hmm. So this is a little troublesome. This is also why I love to make these uh, first impressions video rather than a scripted uh, in-depth video because you see the you see the, the the struggle is real and you see how the the product is used when it is used out of the box first time and you have no idea what you are doing or maybe you have an idea but but then the expectations are a little bit different then the real thing definitely I would probably probably uh, remove the elastic band straps here and put maybe some kind of cord or a larger loop so we have a better, but I stand corrected this is a much prettier roll now with the uh, with the with the skyline than if it was with the uh, SMF and they also uh, offer a maybe eight eight pocket roll maybe eight ten I'd say ten will, will be too much sorry for that I I forgotten but uh, you can you can go and check them out I will I will link you the link uh, down below where I did bought this one from and um, yeah, the price was 9 euro so it should be uh, should be somewhere around uh, 11 dollars so nothing uh, major that would break your bank break your bank <laughs> but the material is sturdy so uh, the knife inside or maybe tool or maybe also a watch Let's try it out. And the watch needs a little bit more protection, of course, because it's a mechanical movement or maybe quartz movement. Not important, but let's say you are going on a holiday and you are taking just your roll, three knives and one watch. So as you can see, no problem. The watch is nicely protected. Yeah, it depends on where the pocket clip hits. Maybe this could be problematic down the road, or maybe you can turn it over. One and two. Yeah. But then you are risking that those knives will. Uh, or maybe not. There is a potential risk that they could uh, fall out. When you are uh, opening the roll but you need to be careful anyways so let's see or maybe uh, okay okay mm. uh, there is definitely no way to fold it over other way because you need the straps so <laughs> Let's see, so they're all, ah, no, they're all, anyways, look, looks really thick, but let's try out something out now, so uh, let's uh, say that we have, <laughs> we have only, let's see. we have two watches. Okay, let's see, we have two watches. So I put my Seiko inside. Yeah, 
little bit sticky out. Also, you have to be really, really careful with, uh, using uh, fixed uh, lugs and uh, metal bracelets because there is maybe no room for play, and you could uh, could damage the the, the bracelet. So just keep that in mind, please, please. Okay, let's see. So very carefully. No, no, no. I cannot fold this one over. Even this is this is even worse. Oh my god. No. So maybe on just on a NATO, maybe leather. If you have, uh, let me see. I will bring some watches. Okay, so. Oh, let's see. Okay. Now we have four watches on Zulu NATO. Whatever. Now let's try to hold it over but no this is the no. maybe triangle looking abomination oh, yeah what now okay so oh let's see no no let's see this way okay let's see this way Definitely, I don't know why they put it here and not here. It would make much more sense. So, <laughs> this could be also a nice project for you if you like uh, stitching and redesigning, maybe flawed uh, engineering. I would not to, I would not to like to, to dislike or bash on a product but let's, let's face it it can be used as a watch roll certainly also a knife roll if you like but then you have so much more options out there so much more options if you want a carrying case for your watch you just buy one of these you have maximum protection so yeah and this costs around twenty dollars, maybe twenty-five. I know my sister got it for me, but yeah. So this is the Beaverall TR4 tool roll, uh, made in Ukraine. And if you like, you can go check him out. Maybe it will fit your uh, items. Maybe you have some uh, traditional knives. Maybe you have some uh, small watches. Obviously, I prefer uh, around 44 and more. So there you go. The size is maybe problematic, but they definitely fit inside without problems. So I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe the fabric uh, needs some kind of breaking in period. Maybe after uh, carrying it will soften, but I doubt it. I doubt it. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks if you if you stayed to the end of this uh, long video. Um, like I mentioned, I will put the link uh, below. If you like, check it out. If not, uh, and you can, and you wanted to buy it, and this video uh, made you reconsider it, then leave a comment. I'm more than happy if you are sharing your experiences with the products I review here. So uh, yes, if you have any questions, also shoot me a message. The best way uh, is to put it in the description. I have uh, 
the the notification enabled so all messages are going through to my mailbox so i will be notified and i will uh, respond to you as soon as i can okay so thanks for watching and as always have a nice day bye